listening and welcome Life Gainers. It's your host Lamont Tyson. Today I'm back on the business series and I just want to just kind of introduce you guys to some other concepts. I went across a great, great posting on entrepreneurs.com and I'm going to link part of that video in this video to help you better understand what it is you got to do to try to be successful in business. A lot of you guys know I've had one or two businesses that have failed. I've had some that made me six figures a year. And right now we're going through a rebirth. But there's an interview that you're going to see in which entrepreneurs talked about finding your niche or figuring out what it is you can do to make a business successful. One guy owns a private airplane line, one guy owns a bar, and the other guy has a barbershop that has a really, really neat concept that I really like. It's a barbershop in the front, then they've got a secret door where there's a bar in the back. So, um, you know, they say going into business for yourself is one of the top five most scary things you can do in your life. But guys, I'm here to tell you, it's tough. It's very tough out there. But if you're going to do it, you need to go in with a plan, know what your niche is, and just really try to know the community in which you're going to do your business. So guys, take a look at these interviews. They're really, really good. Try to learn something from it. Don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe, and please share. And go out there and get yourself a life gain and consider starting your own business. What makes us different than traditional aviation, traditional commercial carriers, is that theirs is a ticketed model. It's very transactional. Uh, it's a one-time purchase, a one-time use. Ours really, our model really creates a relationship over time. And that changes the way we interact with people. So one of the advantages of our model is that we can pre-sell. We can sell people in advance of operating. So by doing that, we can set a target. We can say, great, somewhere between you know, 300 and 400 members is what we will launch with. And we could serve 500, but let's start with three or 400 and make sure that we're profitable out of the gate and that everyone's having a really great experience. And then we can bring on some more members. And that, that lets us control for demand, lets, lets us make sure that we're meeting everyone's needs. Because again, we're a satisfaction engine and we need people to be happy. The bar is completely hidden from, from the guest. So you walk into the barber shop and that's it. And there's a secret door that slides open to, to get you to the 1920s like inspired cocktail parlor. And I think allowing the customer to discover the place is, is something that we, we really hold true to. But I've seen them, I, I've, I've seen guests leave and then come back a day or a week later and be like, I can't believe I didn't go through with this. And But once they do that, now the bar is theirs. Now the barber shop is theirs. And it's their spot that they want to show their friends. It's their spot that when their parents come to town, they want to take them to because they